Welcome back to You Know. Space exploration has always represented the pursuit of the extraordinary and the unknown, starting from the launch of the first satellite to the exploration of distant planets. Humanity's venture into space has consistently pushed the boundaries of technology. Now, one of the most revolutionary technological frontiers on the horizon is quantum computing. This vital field has the potential to reshape the landscape of space exploration, unlocking new realms of possibility in space-related research and technology. However, in an unexpected turn of events, NASA has decided to put the brakes on its ambitious quantum computer project. This decision is causing ripples in the scientific community, following a series of developments that have cast a shadow over the future of the intriguing intersection between AI and quantum computing. Coincidentally, this issue is something that many prominent figures in the scientific community, including Michio Koku and Elon Musk, have been warning about for years. Due to their immense power, quantum computers can potentially crack any known digital code. This poses a significant threat, as it means the crown jewels of any nation containing top-secret military and defense information could be vulnerable to advanced cyber threats. The concern over the potential misuse of quantum computing power has led to calls for government oversight. With the ability to breach data centers and access critical intelligence, the implications for public safety are apparent. The danger lies in the unforeseen consequences or dangers lurking within the realm of quantum computers, prompting the sudden shutdown of NASA's quantum computer project. Join us as we delve deep into the importance of quantum computing, exploring the real reasons behind NASA's decision to pause its quantum computer project and the potential consequences that prompted such a significant move. Quantum computing, a field that combines the principles of quantum mechanics with computing power, has ushered in new frontiers in science. One of the most captivating ideas within this realm is the potential to simulate the entire universe using quantum computers. At the core of this concept is the Schrodinger equation, a formula utilized by quantum physicists for almost a century to describe the behavior of particles like electrons and photons. In contrast to the observable world around us, where objects have clear positions and speeds, Quantum particles exist in a realm of probability and potential. The Schrodinger equation aids in predicting the probable locations and behaviors of these particles. Now, envision using this equation not just for a single particle, but for every particle in the universe. This is where quantum computing comes into play. Quantum computers operate on qubits. Unlike the bits in traditional computers, qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously a property known as superposition. Coupled with other quantum phenomena like entanglement, quantum computers possess a unique ability to handle vast amounts of information. This capability raises the prospect of simulating the intricate interactions of all the particles in the universe. The motivation behind simulating the universe is multifaceted. It could serve as the ultimate test of our understanding of physics. If we can create a virtual universe that mirrors our own, it would signify that our physical laws are on the right track. Additionally, such a simulation might offer insights into currently elusive questions, such as the nature of dark matter, the behavior of black holes, or the origins of the universe. However, the idea of using quantum computing to simulate the entire universe is both audacious and complex. Let's break down why this is such a monumental challenge. Quantum computing represents a radical departure from traditional computing. While classical computers use bits that are either 0 or 1, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in a state of 0, 1, or both simultaneously. This ability to exist in multiple states allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data simultaneously. Nevertheless, simulating the universe with its unfathomable number of particles and complex interactions poses an astronomical computational challenge beyond the current capabilities of quantum computers. The Schrodinger equation, a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, calculates the wave function of a quantum system over time. This wave function provides probabilities of where particles might be and how they might behave. In theory, applying the Schrodinger equation to the entire universe would require knowing the wave function of every particle, and all the forces acting upon them. While this equation is powerful for predicting the behavior of particles, its application to simulate the entire universe is a formidable task due to the sheer scale of calculations involved. 
the aspiration to use quantum computing for simulating the universe is a grand challenge both in terms of computational feasibility and the intricacies of applying quantum mechanics to such a vast and complex system. The exploration of quantum mechanics raises intriguing questions, as it inherently deals with probabilities rather than certainties. When applied to something as massive and complex as the universe, these probabilities become intricate. Additionally, the Schrödinger equation, a fundamental tool in quantum mechanics, assumes that quantum states evolve in a smooth, continuous manner. However, in the real world, particles often behave unpredictably, experiencing sudden jumps from one state to another, known as quantum leaps. This unpredictability poses a significant challenge for any simulation based on the Schrödinger equation, as accurately predicting these jumps remains beyond our current understanding. In summary, while the Schrödinger equation provides a powerful tool for understanding quantum states, using it to simulate the entire universe is a task of unimaginable complexity. It involves not only computational power but also a deep understanding, an accurate application of quantum mechanics principles on a universal scale. The interpretation of quantum mechanics plays a central role in the idea of simulating the universe. Quantum mechanics, fundamentally dealing with probabilities and uncertainties, differs significantly from the deterministic laws of classical physics. One well-known interpretation is the Copenhagen interpretation, suggesting that a quantum system's properties exist in a superposition of all possible states until measured. This raises intriguing questions in a simulated universe, particularly regarding the collapse of quantum states during measurement. Another interpretation is the many-worlds interpretation, proposing that all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are realized in separate universes. In a simulated universe, this implies an exponentially growing number of parallel simulations, each branching out with every quantum measurement. The computational complexity of such a scenario is unfathomable. Additionally, the role of entanglement, where particles can be connected in a way that the state of one instantly influences another even over vast distances, adds another layer of complexity. Entanglement challenges our understanding of space and time and would be a critical factor in any universe simulation. In contemplating the nature of reality, these considerations underscore the intricate challenges and philosophical inquiries that arise when attempting to simulate the vast and complex universe using the principles of quantum mechanics. In a simulated universe, the distinction between the virtual and the real blurs, leading us to a philosophical and scientific crossroads regarding the nature of reality. The concept of simulating the entire universe prompts questions. If a simulated universe is indistinguishable from our perceived reality, what sets the real apart from the simulated? This notion is reminiscent of Plato's allegory of the cave, a philosophical thought experiment questioning perceptions of reality. In the context of a simulated universe, if beings within it perceive their world as real, who's to say it isn't real for them? This contemplation aligns with the simulation argument put forth by philosopher Nick Bostrom, suggesting that if advanced civilizations can create simulations indistinguishable from reality, it's probable we are living in one. A simulated universe also challenges our understanding of consciousness. Would entities within the simulation possess consciousness, and if so, what does it imply about the nature of consciousness itself? Is consciousness a physical phenomenon tied to the brain, or is it something more abstract that can emerge in any sufficiently complex system, even a simulated one? Furthermore, in a perfect simulation, entities within it might never realize they are in a simulation. Their laws of physics, history, and understanding of the universe would all be defined by the simulation parameters. This scenario raises profound questions about our own reality. How do we know we aren't in a simulation ourselves? In summary, the idea of a simulated universe not only pushes the boundaries of quantum computing and physics, but also delves into the realms of philosophy and consciousness, challenging our fundamental understandings of reality and existence. In other words, this quantum leap in computing power has the potential to revolutionize various fields. NASA, in collaboration with Google, has made significant strides in exploring the possibilities of this cutting-edge technology. To illustrate the rapid progress, Google's 53-qubit Sycamore computer and IBM's 433-qubit quantum computer showcase the remarkable capabilities. The pace of advancements in this field is indeed remarkable. However, recent developments have thrown a curveball into their cosmic aspirations. 
the U.S. government, expressing concerns over the swift advancements in quantum computing, took an unprecedented step by requesting NASA and Google to halt their quantum computer projects. This decision has left the scientific community bewildered, considering the potential benefits quantum computers could bring to space exploration, cryptography, and other technological fields. Prominent figures like Michio Koku and Elon Musk, who have long warned about the dangers of unchecked developments in both AI and quantum computing, find themselves echoing their concerns. Koku, a theoretical physicist, emphasizes the risks of AI surpassing even nuclear warheads, while Musk highlights the urgent need to regulate AI development. The decision to halt NASA's quantum computer project raises questions about the interplay between AI and quantum technology. Could there be unforeseen consequences or dangers lurking within the realm of quantum computing that prompted this sudden shutdown? One major concern is the potential threat to encryption systems. Quantum computers, with their immense computational power, can break traditional encryption algorithms, sparking alarms about the security of sensitive information, including financial records and classified data. This poses a potential risk to military and civilian secrets, not to mention the secure transactions vital to the global financial system. As world powers vie for the first mover advantage in the quantum computing realm, the term quantum supremacy takes on geopolitical significance. This raises worries among prominent figures about the potential implications. Michio Koku acknowledges the government's keen interest in advancements in this technology, particularly the CIA. Government agencies are already issuing statements urging people to be prepared and make changes in their behavior because, when this revolution is in full swing, all secrets could be accessible to even a next-door neighbor. While we may not be at the point of worrying about this technology every day, the implications are significant and warrant careful consideration. But it's inevitable, there is a significant need for the development of practical quantum computers in the coming years. While classical computing has made remarkable advances in recent decades, there are still many problems beyond the reach of classical computers. Even parallel computers do not offer the same exponential speedup that quantum computers provide. Quantum computing opens up a promising avenue for solving problems and unlocking new applications in scientific and technological advancements, ranging from cryptography to material science. As Michio Koku aptly stated, Mother Nature is quantum mechanical, the universe is, in some sense, a quantum computer. This implies that quantum computers will enable us to perform chemistry without chemicals. Everything from batteries to vaccines, currently invented through trial and error, could be accurately simulated with quantum computers, eliminating the need for bubbling flasks. Quantum computing holds the key to unlocking the secrets of various phenomena, from human aging to photosynthesis, which occurs as a near 100% efficient quantum process at room temperature. Koku envisions groundbreaking possibilities, especially in material domains. For instance, the century-old Haber process, consuming 2% of the world's energy to produce fertilizer, could be revolutionized by quantum computing, ushering in a new green revolution. In the medical field, quantum computers could analyze drug mechanisms at a molecular level model and test new drugs without human trials, and sift through vast datasets to identify emerging pandemics. On a cosmic level, quantum computers could predict and model asteroid strikes, solar flares, gamma-ray bursts, and other celestial threats. They could also unravel the mysteries of the universe, such as the life cycle of stars, stable fusion reactors, and the enigma of dark matter. Koku emphasizes that quantum computers are indispensable tools for solving physics problems beyond the capabilities of digital computers, including the mind-boggling Planck energy and the mysteries of dark matter. In Koku's optimistic view, there seems to be no human problem that quantum computers won't be able to address, from unraveling cosmic mysteries to solving challenges on our planet, maybe even the last step in finding the theory of everything. For those unfamiliar, the theory of everything is a comprehensive hypothetical framework aiming to explain the physics of the entire universe in a single equation. However, unifying theories that describe the large-scale cosmological structure with those defining the minuscule quantum world has been a persistent challenge for over a century. The dream of Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking, two legendary physicists, was to find an all-encompassing theory. Yet, Equations describing the universe on both the largest and smallest scales have not merged to provide a complete picture of the physical world. 
some of the greatest physicists today acknowledge the frustration, with some conceding they might not live to see it all fall into place. Even Hawking gave up on the search before his death in 2018. Cambridge University astrophysicist Christopher Reynolds notes that Einstein's sense of aesthetics for the universe might be offended by the complex and messy nature of current attempts to figure out the rules of the cosmos. While Einstein could elegantly encapsulate the workings of the world on a large scale with a theory of general relativity, challenges arose when trying to reconcile it with quantum physics governing the smallest scales. According to Reynolds, standard physics today has two legs, the standard model of particle physics and general relativity. The standard model beautifully explains the properties of matter but doesn't account for gravity. The forces explained by the standard model include electromagnetic, strong nuclear, and weak nuclear forces. However, when it comes to gravity, the standard model encounters mathematical challenges. Michael Duff, an emeritus professor in theoretical physics, points out that gravity, according to Einstein, is a result of the geometry of space and time. Trying to explain gravity using interacting particles, such as the hypothetical graviton, encounters mathematical issues on large cosmic scales where general relativity holds. Quantum principles seem not to apply the same way when seeking the principles of gravity on the micro-world of subatomic particles. Duff, who has spent most of his adult life trying to reconcile the two theoretical frameworks, describes their incompatibility as the disaster of the 21st century. The journey to sort out this theoretical disaster began a century ago, and Duff, now 74, acknowledges that he might not witness the day when the rules are finally cracked and the theory of everything is complete. Patience, he emphasizes, is key, requiring more time and research to unravel this complex puzzle. Koku's dissatisfaction with the standard model of particles, offering for forces, 12 particles, and a boson, stems partly from its messy nature, a theory only a mother could love. It's akin to combining an aardvark, platypus, and whale with scotch tape and deeming it. Nature's finest creation. Koku's proposed successor to the standard model is string theory, which he acknowledges as crazy but deems the only game in town. According to Koku, string theory is not only beautiful but could be the key to the final theory. String theory, based on vibrating strings representing particles, is, in Koku's view, a symphony of strings creating the harmonies that shape physics. He believes it's the only paradigm rich enough to explain the diversity of everything offering an elegant perspective where atoms are musical notes and the universe is a cosmic music symphony, the mind of God, as Einstein contemplated. While the theory of everything is far from complete, and physicists grapple with the challenge of selecting the right string wrapping combination, Koku suggests that quantum computing may be the means to quantitatively prove string theory's correctness. String theory, existing in the multiverse, suggests parallel states with different laws of physics coexisting with our universe. A quantum computer could provide a quantitative proof, addressing a question Einstein found profound. Did God have a choice in making the universe? Meanwhile, scientists seek the missing piece of information to fill potential theory of everything gaps. Particle accelerators like CERN's Large Hadron Collider or observations of the distant universe may yield breakthroughs. Dark matter, constituting about 85% of the universe's matter, remains a focus. Actions predicted by string theory are considered candidates for dark matter particles, with X-ray observatories like NASA's Chandra Space Telescope playing a role in their potential discovery. Future missions, such as the European Space Agency's Athena mission and next-generation particle colliders, may provide answers. The quest for understanding our world continues, and despite the excitement expected from cracking the theory of everything, it won't mark the end of physics. According to Michael Duff, learning the rules of chess is just the beginning, and what comes next remains to be seen. That concludes today's information. If you enjoyed the episode, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell for future episodes, and share your thoughts on today's content. Your support keeps us motivated to deliver quality content, and we appreciate your ongoing engagement. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.